Hello, my name is Austin Parks. Um, I've chosen to do the Minesweeper project for my senior design. Um, and I had started working with it uh, a few weeks ago. And, um, but now that we actually, there's actually a team together, uh, I figured it was a good time to go back and kind of document what I had done so far. Um, and so what I have done is I've got a simulation of the actual challenge. And what this will allow us to do is um, basically the way that ROS works is if you were to just buy a ROS robot off the shelf you would boot it up, turn it on, maybe SSH into it or hook a monitor up to it and then um, you would see that immediately it's publishing all sorts of sensor data. Um, and then you can also see that it's also listening for uh, all sorts of uh, actuator control data. So basically your code will subscribe to the sensors and then in turn will control the actuators such as the motors for the wheels. Um, and the simulation is supposed to mimic that interface exactly so uh, basically our software doesn't know that it's being simulated is the whole point I'll just show you so this is the simulation window um, And this is the uh, arena where everything takes place. Right now it's spawning uh, underground mines. It will spawn 20 of those and 30 above ground mines. Um, it just does it at random. But um, you won't actually have access to this during the real thing because it's a simulation. Um, so we can get rid of that. And this is the, uh, it's called Arviz. It shows you basically all of your uh, data spatially. Um, and um, I just have that ground texture there for convenience. The uh, a lot better than this right but um so this uh mind map right here is published by the actual simulation control node uh, so it's this it's, it's responsible for spawning the mines so of course it knows where they are and then it publishes this you know it's like it's like an ideal map that you'd be shooting for um all the sensors on this robot are all work um, just to demonstrate that it does work, let me show you, um, so you can command it with just a, this would be like a RC controls or manual controls, um, you can go forwards. And so you see that um, there's an underground mine that's right there in front of it. Uh, and you'll see all the different detections that come out through the metal detector. Um, in our first meeting, I'll talk about how, how that works in the simulation and also how it will probably work in real life. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, like I said, this is just to show you that we're not really starting from scratch, so to speak. Um, so we do have this that we can start with. Um, it has much higher level controls as well. You can just tell it to say go here and point this way. And it will 
do all the complicated stuff necessary to make that happen. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you what we got. Like I said, I haven't done any of the coding for the robot. I've just been working on the simulation and uh, that's pretty much it. But I look forward to meeting you guys. Um, really excited to actually have team members. But I uh, appreciate y'all for watching.